don't be disheartened if you are not able to solve this hard problem because it is actually a very slight variation of a very standard problem now many people actually would have google searched it and would have solved it which i don't think okay maybe they might have known this but maybe they might not but yeah after this video you will be knowing this standard part and how this can be modified and we can just do a slight tweak to get our final answer cool let's see uh what is this standard part the standard part is maximum manner distance between any two distinct pair of n coordinates so basically i have n coordinates remember that okay i have an array which is saying okay i have point one point two point two point two every point is just coordinate x and y now for every of those coordinate i have to find what find the again we always go in the reverse order we have n coordinates yeah we have we va we want to find the distinct pairs if i have n numbers how many distinct pairs can be possible for sure n square distinct pairs can be possible now out of all those distinct pairs again a pair will look like i have a point one and let's say a point i and a point j this is one such pair now for that specific pair i have to find the manhattan distance so manhattan distance is nothing but if i say point one is x i comma y i point like point j is xj comma yj so do their modulus like if you just absolute subtraction if you do absolute subtraction of these which means you will get a xi minus xj plus yi minus yj so this is your manhattan distance between your point xi yi and xj yj cool now i have i can easily get to know that okay find this finding this manhattan distance between a pair is a just o of one operation but these pair will itself be o of n square now out of all these o of n square pair i will have to go and find the maximum one so we have seen that okay we have some points we will take two points out of it and we have to find the maximum Manhattan distance. So you can for sure see it will be a O of n square. We have to, as you have to find all the pairs. Now, for sure, the entire crux is how we can improvise it. Now, before that, let's see what actually this Manhattan distance is doing. As we saw here also, that this is the Manhattan distance. Let's actually elaborate and see what this is doing. But before that, a slight thing which you should be knowing about maths is that modulus of A I can open this modulo as a plus minus a. Aaron, what do you mean by that is? What I mean by that is what imagine if your a would have been a 4. So mod of a would have been a 4, right? As you can see, mod of 4 would have been a 4. So you saw that a, it opened same directly as it is. a opened as it is. So my a opened in a positive way. What if I would have asked you if my a would have been a minus 4? Then this mod of minus 4, still it would have opened as a 4. So I can simply say that, okay, minus a, my a itself, it opened as a minus a. So minus of minus a, minus, minus of, sorry, minus of this a value, which is minus 4, it opened as a 4 and thus you get a 4. So opening a modulo it can be a plus minus a operation now for our use case we have to open this value it is in the modulo i have to open this value and again the only thing why you might not have been able to solve it is you might have not even thought of in this direction that maybe i should think of and open the modulo terms so that's the reason again i complete it's completely fine if you if you were not able to solve it because it's actually a different a different path altogether now coming on back we will open this modulo how this can be opened same way okay if i have x and y let's example if i have x and y if i have to open this x minus y again i am taking the same example if i have one entity i have another entity i have to open this subtraction i have to open this modulo of two entities x minus y either i can open it, it as x minus y or i can put a negative sign and then open it so i can open it either with the plus sign or with a minus sign remember this fact it's a modulo thing which you should remember now if i go back to my main example i have this specific thing how will i open it for sure for the first portion i have either i can open with a positive or i can open with a negative for the second portion again i can either open with a positive or with a negative now i have to evaluate this expression i have to evaluate this expression how will I do it? Okay, for this first, I have either I can take this or I can take this. Okay, let's imagine for right now I'll take this. So I'll replace this module with a positive one. But for this later part, again, I have to evaluate the entire expression. So for the later part, I will have two options. So, okay, 
you can simply see that if I take a x i minus x j, if I take a x i minus x j, for the later part, I will have two options, either y i minus y j, which is this, or I can have a minus of, minus of y i minus y j. This is another option. Okay, this is done. This is done. Next is, what if I would have chosen for this mod of x i minus y, x i minus x j, I would have chosen minus of x i minus x j. Then again, I will have taken minus of x i minus x j. Then corresponding to that, I can either take a y i minus y j. Okay, I can take that. Or I could have taken a minus of y i minus y j. So you saw that this actually, this one thing, modulus of one thing, it actually will give you four different possible values. So what we thought of is, okay, I have got four different possible values. And again, our main aim was we have to find the maximum Manhattan distance. Right. So for sure, I will also have to find the maximum out of all these four values. That is how I can, how will be, how I will be able to reach a maximum Manhattan distance. Again, maximum is specific. Again, this is one pair I have taken. Although I was asked to find the maximum Manhattan distance between all, like out of all the pairs. But right now I have taken just one pair. In that one pair itself, I will have four options. So for sure, I want maximum. So I will take the maximum out of all of these also. Cool. So now, so far we have reached that, okay, I have these four values and I will take the maximum out of these. But right now, okay, even if I you take maximum out of all these, but still you are doing one thing. You are actually, you are actually iterating on i and j, which means you still have i and j. Your, this current thing is i and j, which means you took two points and then you are elaborating uh, and then you are evaluating that Manhattan distance. If I take i and j, the issue with that will be it will actually in turn again go back to O of n square. I have to get away from O of n square. I cannot afford to take two points. So I thought of okay, I cannot take two points, which means I cannot be dependent upon i and j. I should by like I should separate them. Okay, if I can individually calculate on i, so I can do it in linear time. In the, if I can individually do out on j, I can do it in linear time, and then maybe somehow I can actually get the answer. So I thought of okay, let's separate i and j. So I did the same thing. I separated my i and j. As you can see exactly here itself, I have this as i, this as i. I will club them together. I'll bring i together. I'll bring j together. So I bought my i together and I bought my j together. Same way, I opened all of these expressions. Okay, x i minus y i, x i minus y i. And the remaining part, I just put it as it is, x j minus y j. Just a bit here in the signs, you can see exactly same things are working here. I just transformed them. Now, when I again, when I transformed them, I was looking like, um, it seems okay, but Arin, are you saying that for every, again, this is, again, if you have a point of i, you can simply find this value, which is xi plus yi. Because if, if, if you remember, again, if you remember, then you had this value, you had this value, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4. Now I am saying, if you have a point 1, simply you can find x1 plus y1. That is what you wanted. For point of i, it is x1 plus y1. Same way, x, some, some, some x1 plus y1. So it is addition of those x and y coordinates. It is subtraction. Okay, it is also subtraction. It is also addition. Ah, so if I look very carefully, I just need two things. The coordinates, x and y coordinates, addition, or the subtraction, which means the difference. So I primarily want two things. I, I want the sum and I want the difference. Again, I was able to actually get this sum when I thought of, okay, for one point, which means for I, I only, I want to evaluate so that I am not dependent upon my J. But Arjun, you are still dependent upon your J. How are you saying you are not? I will tell you, I will tell you. Just hold on. I am actually right now, okay, this is independent. Okay, it is a I, it is a J they are not in like they are not totally dependent upon each other we will see how and how what we are saying but right now you have what okay we have a sum so we can directly transform all these numbers as okay sum of i minus sum of j difference of i minus difference of j but rn still you will have to go and do a ij pair to get your maximum Manhattan distance right ah uh, no that's an issue because now if you see closely you will have a sum of something minus sum of other thing and again out of all these four values you want the maximum, you want the maximum and distance, which means you want the maximum, again, you want the maximum thing, whatsoever it, is, whatsoever it is, which means sum of one thing minus sum of other thing, that thing difference, which means this sum minus this sum, it should be maximum. 
how can a number how can a result be maximum it can only be maximum when your first thing which means on the left side it is very high and on the right side it is very low only then it can be maximum it's a simple math expression if you want to have let's say if, if i say okay number is five so if i want this number to be five to maximum so i will for sure put five here and zero here because if you see that uh, if again if i want some things if i have if, if i will put them close so it will not be maximum so if i want my result to be as max as possible i have to keep left one very high right one very low so i got to realize that now my now i know that i have sum of one point any of the point minus sum of any other point i have difference of any one point minus difference of any other point i want i want okay i want all this out of all this whosoever is maximum so for sure i want this or this whosoever will give me maximum value i'll take that as my maximum Manhattan distance either this can give or this can give now if i ask him bro if i ask my sum bro bro what will you give me as maximum so he will say bro i will take the i'll take a point whoever has the maximum sum value and i'll take a point whoever has a maximum sorry who has a who has a minimum sum value and same way when i ask my diff bro 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 diff bro you have to give me the maximum thing so he will say bro okay I, i'll give you i will take a point which will which has a maximum diff value and minimum diff value and then i will find this diff this diff values and i i'll find this sum again sum subtraction diff subtraction values and that whosoever is maximum either this or this again either okay why it is not erasing okay either this or this who's the maximum that will be my maximum manhattan distance so we realized we will we can simply go and find the maximum sum we will subtract it with the minimum sum so i'll get the maximum sum subtraction value here same way i'll do for diff maximum diff minus minimum diff i'll get the maximum diff maximum diff subtraction value and then who's the maximum out of these two will be my final maximum Manhattan distance that's gonna be my answer for example a quick dry run uh, if you have these points firstly your main task was to find the sum right and find the diff so I'll find the sum and the find the, and find the diff sum will be x1 plus y1 x2 plus y2 x3 plus y3 x4 plus y4 diff will be x1 minus y1 x2 minus y2 x3 minus y3 x4 minus y4 now your main task was just to find these four values maximum sum minimum sum maximum diff minimum diff so I'll just go and okay I have these values of sum i will simply have to, i have to simply find what is the maximum out of again it's a, it's a, it's a vector of simple numbers i have to find what is the maximum value and what's the minimum value now if if i give you a simple array of numbers if i ask you what is the maximum value and what's the minimum value you can simply sort that in the end again sort that in the ascending order in the end whatsoever is the value it's the maximum value in the beginning whatsoever is the value is the minimum value so that's a one way but uh, and again the same way i will perform for the diff also maximum diff and minimum diff but there's another again if i go by sorting so i will have to firstly keep track of the sum and difference in a new vector and then sort that vector so for sure the time will be o of n and space will be o of n but if i ask you bro if i give you a list of numbers and if i ask you what is the maximum number and what's the minimum number you can simply keep track in a maximum variable and a minimum variable so you don't need an array all together and to sort it you can simply keep track in a variable itself so i'll do the exact same stuff and with that okay it's a linear thing because you are just iterating on all the elements and for sure no space because you will need just one variable maximum sum minimum sum maximum variable minimum variable cool now let's see the code it's pretty simple again uh although in the actual in the actual by default in the actual default problem you just have to find the maximum manhattan distance but as an add-on i'm also asking okay find the maximum manhattan distance find the maximum manhattan distance but also find the coordinates which gave this maximum manhattan distance cool because you know because you know that you have points okay you have these four points okay you can give me by the by the current example which i showed you you can give me maximum manhattan distance but i'm also asking you what what were these two points maybe in this case it would have been point two and point four so what were these two points which gave me maximum manhattan distance you also have to give me that answer so again that's a good practice to actually cover holistic things so what we will do we will simply go and do a quick things 
रिमेंबर मकसद नहीं बोला आर मेन एम वॉज टू जस्ट सिंपली फाइंड द मिनिमम सम मैक्सिमम सम मिनिमम डिफ मैक्सिमम डिफ दैट इज वॉट आई वॉन्टेड टू फाइंड Which means I will try to minimize my minimum sum, maximize maximum sum, minimize my minimum diff, maximize my maximum diff. But also, you know that you also you have to keep track of which point or basically which index gave you that specific minimum diff or maximum diff, right? So I'll also keep track of the index. So as you can see, minimum sum I initialized with the maximum value, but I also kept track of okay. What index gave me that? Okay, by default it is not yet started, so it will be minus one by default. And same way, maximum sum by default is a minimum value, but again by default index is zero. Minimum diff, maxim, minimum diff by default value is minimum value. Sorry, maximum value and by default index is minus one. Maximum diff by default value is minimum value and index is minus one. Now I have got these pairs with me sorted, which means in the first value again first represents the index and and the next thing represents the corresponding value. Maybe it is minimum, so it will be minimum value. Now I will go on to all the points, and one thing I want, I want to minimize my maximum, minimize my min sum, maximize my max sum. But still, for that I have to find the sum. So I will find the sum, which will be nothing but point of i plus point of j, which means okay, which will be like uh, if I have x i comma y i, which means if it was a point, let's say point was p one, p two, p three, p four, so it will have a x one comma y one. So sum will be sum of these two coordinates x and y. X one, y one. So for x, which means x of i, y of i. So for the point, for the point of i, it will give me things. This is x, and for and for the point of i, this is y. So I will have a sum. I will have a difference. Okay, I will have a sum and I will have a difference. Now when I have this, I will just try to see if I can improvise my min sum, max sum, min diff, max diff. So if my sum is less than my min sum. Again, I did a min sum dot second because second actually is contain the corresponding value. So compare the corresponding value, not the index. Index I will compare later on when I want. But right now I have to compare the values. So okay, if sum is less than min sum, update the min sum. If sum is more than min max sum, update the max sum. If diff is less than min diff, update the min diff. If sum is so if diff is more than the min diff, so max diff, update the max diff. Okay, when this entire portion is done, now you have your proper value of max sum, min sum. Max diff, min diff, with their corresponding indexes. What they give. But if you remembered, I will have this or I will have this. But whosoever will have the maximum will be my final maximum Manhattan distance. So either this can be large, which means either this left portion can be large or right portion can be large. If this left portion is large, that going to be my Manhattan distance. And if I have got my result, which is the maximum Manhattan distance, corresponding index. I and J. I can simply say, okay, I will be, let's say, uh, sorry, I will be here and J will be here. So I will have two points, and I will take those two points, I and J, from here. Okay, what if this would have given me? What if this would have given me as the maximum Manhattan distance? So okay, result will be this. But if this is the result, and I have got the result from the diff subtraction, then okay. I will be from min diff and J will be from max diff. These two will be the coordinates which actually contribute to actually contribute to the maximum Manhattan distance. And if I would have gotten from here, so these two would have been the coordinates which contribute to the maximum Manhattan distance. So I'll do the exact same stuff. I'll have a quick check. If the min maximum minus min sum, if that is more than my max diff minus min diff, which means max, which means some some subtraction actually contributed to my Final maximum Manhattan distance. So I'll simply update the result. Result is a maximum Manhattan distance. It is simply whatsoever is maximum. But I, as I told you, I also wanted the index for those specific points which gave me this maximum Manhattan distance. And I have been storing these points in my maximum and minimum pair. So again, my i point will be nothing but minimum dot first, which is the minimum index, and My j point will be my again this result too again if you go back I have made a result vector in this the first thing is man, maximum Manhattan distance second thing is corresponding i coordinate which means I want two points which will give me the distance so this is the first point this is the first point this is the next point so I'll name it as point i point j I have two points now uh, same way what if your maximum diff would have been bigger so simply update the result with the maximum diff and corresponding index also. Okay, this is the i index, which is the minimum diff dot first, and this is the maximum diff dot first will be the 
J index. And that's how you can simply return the result. Result contains everything. Your distance, maximum and distance, and the corresponding points which give that distance. And ultimately, you can simply solve it in O of n time and O of 1 space. Now, if we come on back to our actual problem, in which you have to find, you have to minimize the Manhattan distance. Ultimately, you will see that we have to minimize, we have to find the minimum possible value of maximum distance between any two points. This means maximum Manhattan distance. So it is ideally saying that find the maximum Manhattan distance and try to minimize it. What we mean by that and how will we minimize it? Because they are saying what operation you can do is you can, you can, okay, uh, distance uh, return on your value, okay, you can remove, remove exactly one point. So operation I can do is I can remove exactly one point. What I mean by that is, okay, let's again see. We have P1, P2, P3, P4. For sure, I would have gotten, if I would have not removed any point, I would have gotten some Manhattan distance. I would have gotten some Manhattan distance, maximum Manhattan distance. So let's say I would have removed a point two. So I will take the point P1, P2, P, sorry, I will take the point P1, P3, P4 in consideration. I will take the point P1, P3, P4 in consideration and then I can simply find the maximum Manhattan distance. Cool. But Aryan, uh, are you saying that uh, again, just if I just remove this one point P2 to find the maximum Manhattan distance, I would have taken O of n time between the point P1, P3 and P4. Right. Uh, but for sure, Aryan, are you saying that you will try for all the points to be removed? Which means because, okay, right now we remove P2. We will try to remove P3 also. Then again, I will check for P1, P2 and P4 and find the maximum Manhattan distance. So I can remove N points and for every point, I will be trying to find the maximum Manhattan distance. That will again take a O of N square time. That would not work for us. That will not work for us. So we have to improvise something. How we can improvise it? Simply. Simply, if I go and ask you, bro, if you take all these, all these points, and if I ask you, what was the, by default, again, remove nothing, remove nothing. What was the maximum Manhattan distance in the very beginning? So you said, okay, R in P2 and P4 actually gave me the maximum Manhattan distance. So I'll say, okay, these two are, these two points, these two points, P2 and P4 are the culprit, are the reason for the maximum distance. These two points are the reason for the maximum distance. That's it. Other points were not the reason. These two points, P2 and P4, because they gave the maximum Manhattan distance, right? So these two are the reason for the for the maximum Manhattan distance. And what you have to do? You have to minimize that. So simply, you have to remove, and you have option to remove. So if I know the culprits, I know these two are the culprits. These two give the gave me the maximum distance. So I know the culprits. I'll simply try to remove only P2. And then I will go and find P1, P3, P4. What is the maximum Manhattan distance? And then next time I will try to remove P4. And then again, I will find the maximum Manhattan distance. And for sure, I have to minimize it. So whosoever, whosoever after removal will give me the minimum distance. That will be my answer. Got it? So rather than removing all of the ones, rather than removing all of the ones, which I was trying again and again, I will just try to remove two points which were the main culprit who gave me the maximum Manhattan distance. So it will be 2 into n. n is to find the maximum Manhattan distance and 2 is to try for these two points who will give me the minimum value of this maximum distance and that will be O of 2 into n time. And again space is again the same as what we saw above which is O of 1. Now let's see the code. It's pretty simple. Uh, exact same stuff. Exact same stuff. See you will see the code is exactly same. Exactly same. Nothing changed. I will see. I, I show a bit small change. So you will firstly go and find the maximum distance. Again the first maximum distance is just saying okay I have four points. I will get to know which two points are actually the main culprit. So with this first thing I just mentioned, okay, go on to points. I'll show you what this minus one is, but go on to all the points and find what two, what two coordinates. Again, if you remember, this vector gave you three things, which is the first is the distance. Next is the I coordinate. Next is the J coordinate. I coordinate is one of the coordinates which gave the maximum. J is the other coordinate which gave the maximum distance. So this will give you I and J two culprits of maximum Manhattan distance. But now you know that you will try to maybe remove one of the culprit. Okay, maybe I will remove I or maybe I will remove J and then we'll find what is the 
what is the distance and whosoever is minimum i will return that as an answer so i have to remove this and i want to make my function a bit modular so i will i will say right now i was finding the maximum distance by saying by iterating on these points and now i am saying i have to find the maximum distance by iterating on these points but i should exclude this point i at this at this moment i should exclude the point i and the same way i am saying i will again find the maximum manhattan distance out of all these points but now i should exclude exclude this point j so this is the actual one attribute or basically one variable which we added by saying okay if what index i should actually actually exclude so you will see and you will go and see i have a thing called as exclude this specific index or id and in the loop itself while i am trying to go on to all the points if my id matches the current index i will exclude this and i will continue i will not go and take its contribution cool that's the only change now uh, when you will when you when you have gotten everything so this this points of i will re re return you a result i and j and you are only concerned about the result now so you will only get the zeroth index again this will give you a result i and j again you are concerned only about the result you will get the result and then whosoever is minimum that's going to be my answer now the time will be o of n again o of n into 2 and space will be o of 1 and that's how we solve it again uh, i'll highly say that if you were not able to solve it no worries because it was a standard problem and if the folks would have googled it much earlier than you then they might have they might have straight away like straight forward uh, saw that gfc post and that was the reason they were able to solve it but no worries uh, no nothing to be disheartened about that's a good problem and you understood many things that will actually help you a lot bye bye take care